Welcome back to Main Street TV. Today we are at the home and soon going to be at the studio of one of the most illustrious illustrators in the country. Probably one of India's most popular artists of modern times. Uh, Santanu Hazarika is going to welcome us into his private space and show us uh, a lot, a lot more than just his closet. I'm very excited to, for the first time, be looking at a lot more than just a closet. And I'm very excited to take you guys with us. Let's get into it. Hello. Yo, what's up? Thank you for having us. Can we come in? Come in, come in, come in. Let's go. Make it seem like the barge in them. Got my heart no barge in them. From the bed to the floor to the couch. Might wait the neighbors up. But you ain't then break you out. In the end, we gon' make a chat. Then we gon' hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Shantanu, we are in your home that I have now left a mark in. Yeah, correct. Uh, you have a bunch of collectibles. What's up yeah. with that? I mean, we both are collectors. Yeah. So, like, uh, most of the graphic novel, comic books, uh, it's a combination of both. So, graphic novels are yours? No, so graphic no are some of the graphic novels are mine, some, and most of them are Shruti's, but the mangas... Manga is yours. But tell me about some of the other collectibles. Uh, very special, I have this one, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet issue 2. So, you know the movie, this one. Uh, Endgame and yeah. the Infinity Wars. So this is the actual comic book from where oh, the wow. script was taken from. And OG? It's the OG. Can we open and read? Nah, no, of course <laughs> not. It's vacuum sealed, CGC rate graded and all that shit. What is that worth? Uh, I don't know. A lot of money. And this one is uh, Wolverine issue 2. You know how Wolverine's costume is all like yellow and blue? This is before that. This is before when he before, only yeah. had like a blue costume. You haven't costume. got the updated version basically. No. <laughs> I like the old ones. Who's this? So this is a super limited edition collector's box uh, of Horizons. Dawn? Forbidden West. So uh, this is like a figurine that came with the special collector's box. And then there's some... Oh, so, wow. So there's a... This one's a Mortal Kombat 11 collector's box. You get this whole bust of Sub-Zero. This feels so nice, dude. This is so cool, though. Looks like it'll fit me. Yeah, I think this might fit me. What up? Remember Spider-Man, that multiverse that came out yeah, recently? Yeah, yeah, There was a special Spider-Man India issue which came out. And I have a signed copy of the writer and the creator of Nikesh Shukla. You know the Spider-Man, this one, the new movie, Moonbatten. Yeah, Moonbatten yeah, yeah. thing got really popular. This is basically Pravitra Pravakar, but it's signed by the creator of Pravitra Nikesh. Pravakar. Nikesh. I mean, there's more books and stuff in my studio. We get there. Yeah. Um, Santanu ji, our uh, viewers, our darshaka hai, hai. <laughs> वो हमें बोलते रहते हैं कि हम हिंदी में बात नहीं करते हम आपसे हिंदी में वार्तालाप करना चाहते हैं आज आपकी हिंदी कैसी है मेरी हिंदी अच्छी है मतलब ठीक ठाक है अच्छा आपके चित्रों के बारे में हमें बताइए आपके चित्रों में अक्सर लिंग दिखाई देते हैं ये कहां से आते हैं इसकी इंस्पिरेशन कहां से आती है खुद से है <laughs> <laughs> लिंग एक ऐसा चीज है जिससे मतलब फक <laughs> लिंग देख के बहुत लोग मतलब Uncomfortable. Nahi bolunga. I mean, they get really uh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. But it's like a giant uh, this thing. Fuck you to your face. I mean, it's so simple. And also at the same time, uh, ling banana is very easy. Hai. Hmm. It's very easy to draw dicks. Hmm. But with your opinion, it should be normal. Haan, it should be so normalized. Why yeah. So yeah. yeah, why? What's the big deal? Everyone has a dick. Everyone has a vagina. Uh, maybe you human being human being or maybe it's your you, expression of art and what if you don't have it also it doesn't matter why should it's you be so offended by something like I'm that i'm not offended aapke tattoos ke bare mein bataiye so this one i got this made like last year huh. so I, uh, my one of my favorite band is slipknot uh, cory taylor and then there's a devil here so basically it's a there's a song called devil and i so i just kind of portrayed that whole thing here oh, wow. then i also like anime so i made uh, kurama who's uh, one of the characters so then Akatsuki Clouds, Naruto Reference, Dragon Ball Z. Then there is a Devil Cat, which is like my cat. There's a crow here. Then I've hidden again one more Dragon Ball here. Get so it, up, uh, Mumbai Kabai. I think around five. I shifted to Bombay right before COVID. I was based out of Delhi before this. But I've always been coming back and forth because uh, I have done few projects here in Bombay. So there's always been commute between Delhi, Bombay, Delhi, Bombay, the usual shit. Basically. How did I get into art? I would say uh, like first it was 
uh, collecting comic books, I was a big comic book buff. I would buy whatever comic books I'll get. So कई से भी and I never used to follow any issues or anything. Because ah, I was like जो भी मिल गया जो भी मिल गया मैं ले लेता हूँ. I would see the cover page. Beggars can't be choosers. Correct. I was literally that. That was my situation. So growing up in Assam, we had lot of counterfeit products coming in through China. So I would collect all of those anime pen pencil boxes, Dragon Ball Z and all. And I had no idea about anime. So I got fascinated by it and started. Copying them, and I started selling them to my friends oh. at a very young age. So, and then through that money, the money that I got, you bought more comic, books. more comic books and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and what was like your first big break career was? When I won the Red Bull Doodle Art World Championship in 2014. Wow. So I was in I think fourth year of engineering. The same old story: engineering dropout turned into some other passion thing. Then I went to South Africa, won the international also. Wow. So I became the first, not first. I think yeah, one of the two world champions in doodle art. Mm. And then since then I've been like working in this field. So in just one month I learned like digital art, designing clothes, and everything. I just self-taught everything, and yeah. I'm still learning stuff. Awesome man. Speaking of clothes, let's get into your closet. Oh shit! Get into your closet. Let's go. Yeah. You have a lot of clothes. <laughs> This is a lot. I mean, yeah. This was not one. So oh, this one, my guy. So, so cool. Abhishek has always had my back. So this is only one which he made specially mm -hmm. for me because for FIFA, I was invited uh, for the FIFA this last year. Yeah. Yeah. Qatar. World Cup, Qatar. You found the color black. Or yeah. Just I've always <laughs> no. I, I've always worn black. I uh -huh. sometimes I do deviate, but it's very rare. And yeah, you have a very distinct style, right? Mm -hmm. You really like like the. Graphic, intense stuff, even on your clothes. It's always been that way. Mm, yeah, because I've always worn like band T-shirts, mm. merchers, and which always had like stuff like skulls, skulls and stuff. Skulls and stuff so stuff. I still stick to that because it makes me feel comfortable, and I've always worn that. But I do collect special pieces. For example, see this, this one. You know, Verdi. Yeah. So this is a special FIFA edition varsity jacket which Verdi had made for the World Cup. Oh wow. And it's like yeah, I was wondering man red white blue oh. so, are, we, are we lost? And this is a special one Dust of Gods. Yeah. Okay this is designed by me. Oh sick. Oh, you did a collab with them I remember. Yeah that. so yeah. I did a collab with Dust of Gods with Antonio Tadrisi and so yeah. we worked on this special capsule collection one of the collaborations that i'm really proud of you like hoodies yeah uh, i love hoodies very cool. so this is a special piece mr. you know mr doodle, doodle. doodle. yeah so he had done the special numbered edition for red bull world a doodle art championship this mm. year mm -hmm. so these are like few hundred which they have made mm -hmm. so i got one of them so most of the stuff that i have which are not black yeah. are actually gifts so special editions uh, special editions which nobody yeah. can buy ever and then i see some slip knot yeah slip knot yeah your favorite band do you have a count uh -huh. Yep. Nope. Any idea? But there's a lot here. There's some there. Some there. There's some. more shirts, jackets here. Yeah. There's uh, more inside. There's a bunch of... there. 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 Come, I think uh, with that we can end the sneakers. It's right about here. These are your sneakers. Yeah. These are sneakers. A lot less sneakers than clothes. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're more sneakers, but uh, there's no space to keep them. So some of them uh, are for peace at home. For peace at home. Only these many. It's a peace treaty. Yeah. It revolves around sneakers. I have. Uh, half of them in Delhi and half of them in Guwahati. But here I see like there's no consistent pattern. Yeah. Uh, how do you choose a pair of shoes to buy? I mean, uh, I don't. I, if I like something, I just get it. You have the Balenciaga Defenders. Defenders. Oh, I really like those. Yeah, they look like dope. I'm already six one, but these make me six, almost six, six two, six <laughs> three, and I really love that. And you have the Air Fire Gods. Yeah. Not these, a commonly seen shoe. I really like Especially them. Especially since Fire God won't collab with Nike anymore. Shoes. I see some Jordan ones. I mean, I'm not a big Jordan one fan, but I just like specific colors. Yeah. Like the these zoom. zooms, beautiful yeah, shoes. Yeah. I really like them. This one's a special one because this is a special Tyler the Creator art series mm -hmm. uh, with Converse, mm -hmm. and uh, I think Stephen McCullen worked on this pair. Mm -hmm. So both of them are completely different, and they Very have cool. different illustrations on it. And there's these. Black cats. Black cats. Yeah, I love these. Gorgeous, gorgeous shoes. And you were saying this is one of the most comfy shoes you got. Yeah, I, I love. So this, this I wear everywhere. It's perfect, all white. Out of the office. I think this is the out of the office collection. Yeah, and you have another pair of white shoes here. Yeah. I just love how distressed yeah. these are. I mean, people have just commented, okay, you don't. Why don't you clean your shoes? I'm like. It's a good icebreaker, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a special one uh, which I did for Adidas, like a custom oh, pair. 
Wow. So it's like all golden and shit. Cool. I think with that we should move into our studio. Yeah. I'm really keen to see where you work and do things like this. I mean, it's it's hella dirty. It's, it's not as clean and organized as the house. Awesome. You'll find awesome. probably you'll find dead cockroaches or something. <laughs> yeah. We're in your uh, highly creative studio space right now. Thank you. I mean, it's more like messy. How long have you busy. been working here? It's been almost three years since I've got the studio space. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm expanding and moving to a no, separate commercial space. Commercial space yeah. Cause just now we had issues getting in. Cause they're like, no, you can't come in with so many people. You can't come in, do that and all that shit. Four, four people. Four people, just four people. Do you ever have any like self-doubt? Yeah, oh, every day, God. every day. I'll come and just lie down on the floor saying like, what's the whole point? Like, I fucking suck at all of this. And then? And then because there's nothing else I could do. So then it's just get up and keep doing what I, this is the only thing I know how to do. So. Who are some artists you look up to? Uh, the bunch of them, like I really like James Jean. I really like uh, Hajime Sorayama. Mm -hmm. I like Kentaro Minora, like uh, mm -hmm. We Basak. see all the books. So yeah, those, those are stuff, yeah, bunch. It keeps on changing, but these are the primary inspirations. What's a day in your life like around you? Wake up, play with my cat, basically work out, come to the studio, work, paint, do whatever I want, go back home, play some video games, pass out. Pretty simple. Good life. Yeah. We're gonna move into the next segment where uh, you're gonna teach me how to be you and uh, uh, I don't know if you should be happy about this. I mean, I'm not a great artist. I mean, <laughs> so is this drawing? What do you want to draw? Let's do this one. You want to draw this? Yeah. Let's draw this. Goku? Yeah, that's Goku. All the best. I'm going to try extra hard to suck. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Okay, there are a bunch of markers there. If you yeah. want paint, there's paint over there. Okay. I'm going to do my own version of this. Same. Do size it up. Well, all the markers are of pink. Whoa. Something about a lack of use, maybe. <laughs> oh shit! Shots fired. Fuck it, I'll take a red. Nice, no? We're not talking about sneakers, but we're drawing stuff. Drawing For the stuff. first time, Main Street's gone more. Main art. Yeah, we, should. we should definitely do this more often. I think I crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, it's no face go. Uh, honestly, I'm. I think it's just your presence. I wouldn't have been able to do this much also. Yeah, that's good work, man. That's sick. You got it the. It sort of resembles good. it, and I'm just like shocked. It does. Please vote. Vote for what's vote right. Vote for Vedu. <laughs> vote for Vedu. Don't give me your sympathy vote, man. But thank you for having us in and showing us around. This is so much fun. Yeah, to I'm glad we could it. jam on this. Yeah. We're gonna auction this off at Main Street's page. I think you should, you know, this one. It's no, like Vedu's it's first priceless. painting. It's priceless. Priceless. Yeah, it's priceless. Like, put a... Let's see what people... If, if, if you guys want, put in the comments. Maybe we'll send it to someone.